Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. It's getting colder by the day. And there, it, with these really cold days coming at us, it, it reminds me of the the good old days. The good old days where the um, where I was vlogging in the snow and shit. Like, I don't know, for some reason, like, <laughs> I can't tolerate the cold that much anymore. All right, so, uh, a couple news, a couple news right off the bat. I, uh, uh yesterday I, uh, I backed my first Kickstarter. This is it, I'm, uh, I did it. I lost my virginity. And um, not not that I never wanted to uh, back Kickstarters or to 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 uh, to support game designers and stuff. It's just that it never, you know, I never felt the urge for it. I never, uh, I never felt like uh, I don't know. I never. I there there is something with me about the idea of blindly you know, supporting a game, right? Um, like, like I, I, I backed I backed DCC fourth printing. Okay, so DCC is established, is well known, and I've read it before. Now I've read I've read like 90% uh, of it already. So I know. I know what it is. I know the game. I know what it's about. I know so so I'm not blindly you know buying a game. And also one thing is that Kickstarter, if you want a print copy, is always a bit more expensive than if you buy it online. But but Kickstarter though on the other hand allows you to create that thing because the thing doesn't exist already. Now with a, with a Kickstarter like this one that I that I backed, the DCC Fort Printing one, is just it's just a small press company that wants to have a you know a, a, a new printing of the game, and uh, and so so the game it's the same game, it's just some some errata and some some stuff going on, but did I, I, so so but I knew I know what what I'm getting myself into. I don't you know me personally. Before I buy, that's one thing, you know. That that's the thing I realized yesterday, and I and I talked about that, you know, in a video recently where I asked, "What kind of consumer are you?" You know, I love RPG a lot. I'm passionate and all that, you know. But I'm not rich. I'm not, uh, and I and I, you know, I. I'm critical, you know. Some some of these games out there, they they they're just bad. They're just really they're just really bad. I mean, it's just it's just like you know. I mentioned already it already. There, there's a lot to be said about the idea that you're designing a game that exists already, and it's just another just a reskin of something that has been done already and stuff. And for you know, unless unless it is um, unless it has anything really special. To it, I mean, it's just gonna be the same. It's just gonna be the same game. So, so yeah, it's a, like Kickstarter for me always has been that 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 always had that issue where, ah oh man, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Like some of these designers out there that go on Kickstarter, they they have a reputation. So you know that you're you're gonna get something you know that that is uh, true to desi the designer. But when it's a first time designer, you don't know dude who it is. You don't know nothing about the game. It doesn't tell you anything. And the fucking video. That's something I just hate. I just hate that shit with Kickstarter. All the videos are the same. They are edited the same way. The tone of the voice is it's, it's almost like they they had a course, like they follow a class on how to talk on Kickstarter. So it's like it always sounds the same. It's like Hi. My name is this and this. I'm super excited. I have this really really exciting project of mine. I've been working on for 10 years. I want to tell you about this. 
It's a role-playing game. It's, it's a game that you can create your own stories with your friends and it's unlim limitless. You can do whatever you want. And, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, cre I'm created this great game where you can do this and that. And I'm, and I'm bruh, like, like bruh. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what is that thing you just created? What, what is that? Like, what is, what is it really? You know, and I, anyway, so, and I have, you know, they, they all have a unique way to deal with this and that. The game is always fast and, and, and elegant and, and efficient and nice, like, and, and it represents the reality and it, it always has these, these, these list of, of great things about the game. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know that like most RPG don't achieve that like they, they, they don't they don't they don't you know it's a generic yeah it's a really generic way of describing things like go on Kickstarter like click on one of these games one of these dudes that talks about their games and you'll see that generic thing right and if to me it's the red 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 alert already when when I hear that generic voice the generic tone of Oh, my game is does this and that and this and that. I mean, yeah. So, so that's the, so, so so. But at the same time, so, so, on, on, so that's the reason why I always felt a little. Um, yeah, I, I never, I never, you know, I never really liked the idea of blindly buying a game that I'm not gonna like or I've never read before. I need to read the thing at fifty. Right. So sometimes, sometimes though on Kickstarter you can, they they uh, they provide you with some uh, they provide you with some uh, some some PDF and stuff. So you can uh, so you can do it, but uh, otherwise, I mean. It, so yeah, so I, I I do think that Kickstarter is a, is an amazing uh, it's an amazing venue though. I was I was really like I was. I was going on the DCC thing, and the way the 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 way the pledges the way the pledges work is made for consumption. Like it, it's created for to excite you and to make you. And I was pledging, and then I was seeing myself just looking at the other pledge possibility, and I was like, ah. Oh, should I do this? Or should I pledge for this? And then I change it, and I came back to it, and then I change it again, and I, uh, and I, and I, oh, 20 more, 20 more, boom, and, and it's just, I mean, and they, they have a way to, uh, to excite you. The thing is, is designed in such a way, and you, you can tell the structure, and they also, they, they have that thing where you can add dollar by dollar, so you, you just go, you just go crazy on that thing, right? And it's, I'm I'm like wow and and it's exciting there's nothing else I can say I mean of course it's exciting and and there's and there's nothing wrong with it it's it's uh, it's great I I um and, and it, it it makes project come to life and to me it's uh that that is that as uh I mean it's 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 uh it's important it's important I think the the old RPG thing is gonna I mean the old hobby is 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 getting stronger just because of Kickstarter. So yeah, I, 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 we'll see. I, I'm I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna. I I can't wait to uh, to see how it, it's gonna go. I do uh, you know I do uh, now. I'm gonna need some dice for DCC. So please, people, uh, let me know. Like I. And DCC needs like some weird guy, weird dice, and uh, the Zucky dice. I want to get my hand on some Zucky dice, and I need like a full set. And I never shopped for dice before, so and I know a couple a couple good places for to go to dice, but it's um, I don't know. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a place where you uh, you uh, you like to go for dice? Every time I'm trying to. Uh, 
sh shove for some dices I I don't know I never I'm never comfortable Z Z Zaki dice where do you get your your Zaki dice and uh, I know they have they have their website but I, I want to know uh, I want to know what you guys think about um, about uh, about uh, these these dices and, and uh, where where I shall I shall find them or I should find them for myself all right thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon